Did you know that the earliest form of electrical brain stimulation goes all the way back to ancient Rome? Scribonius Largus, Emperor Caesar's doctor, discovered that he could place a live torpedo fish, which emitted a small electrical charge, on a patient's scalp to relieve headaches. Then, in the late 11th century, Persian physician Ibn Siddha suggested using live torpedo fish for treating epilepsy. Now, that was a long time ago. Today, we're doing something surprisingly similar, but now it's controlled, safe, and backed by real neuroscience. You no longer need to slap a live fish on your head just to feel better. It's called TDCS, and one of the newest devices delivering it is the Halo Neuroscience Headband. So let's talk about what it does and my experience on how it actually works. Hi, I'm David Toman from Nootropics Expert, where we talk about science-based ways to boost brain function, mood, focus, and mental performance. I spent two full months testing the Halo Headband, and today I'm going to share with you how it works, what the science says, my personal results, and how it compares to the kind of brain stimulation you do in your doctor's office. So let's get started. TDCS stands for Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation. It uses a weak electrical current of only about 1 to 2 milliamps to gently stimulate your prefrontal cortex. Now that's the area just behind your forehead. And it's the part of your brain that controls executive function, decision making, staying focused, managing your emotions, behaving appropriately at social situations, and your sleep. This current doesn't shock your brain. Instead, it subtly increases the likelihood that neurons fire when they should. Over time, these repeated sessions help strengthen your neural circuits, responsible for keeping your mood in balance, cognitive control, and better sleep through a process known as neuroplasticity. In plain English, TDCS helps your brain retrain itself to work better. So from an electric fish to modern technology, we're still chasing the same goal a calmer, clearer, and better performing brain. Halo is a wearable TDCS device that you strap on like a headband. You pair it with an app on your mobile and run a 30 minute session. You can use it while reading, journaling, meditating, or winding down at night in front of your TV. In Europe, a similar device called the Flow Headband is approved for treating depression. In the US, Halo is considered a wellness device. So we're talking about at-home brain support and not doctor-supervised medical treatment. Halo targets your prefrontal cortex, which is your brain's command center. When this area is underactive, you may feel distracted, unmotivated, or restless at night. Halo increases neural activity. It improves communication between your thinking centers, your emotional centers, and your attention networks. Think of it as helping your brain shift into a high control, low noise mode, calmer, clearer, and more focused. Now let me talk about my results. I tested Halo for about two months. The biggest change for me was sleep. My sleep felt deeper, more restorative, and I woke up feeling clearer and more refreshed, and I dreamt more, nice dreams. I also noticed a subtle lift in mood and motivation, even though depression wasn't a big issue for me. These changes weren't instant. They built slowly over two to three weeks, but they're real. TDCS has been studied for more than 20 years. Over 100 peer-reviewed clinical studies show benefits in mood, sleep, working memory, reaction time, and cognitive endurance. A large randomized controlled trial published in Nature Medicine in 2025 showed that patients who use the Flow headset five times a week for 10 weeks were twice as likely to experience their depression go into remission compared to those in a control group who performed the same procedure but with the current switched off. Across these studies, there are no serious side effects reported, just mild tingling or warmth on the scalp when wearing the headset. Now you may have heard of the Neurostar TMS, which is used in clinics for major depression. TMS uses a strong magnetic pulse and requires daily in-office sessions for four to six weeks. And it can cost $10,000 or more, which is sometimes covered by insurance. Halo uses a gentler electrical current in the comfort of your own home. Two different tools, two different purposes, but ultimately the same result. Both target the prefrontal cortex and support neuroplasticity. Halo is simply a more comfortable, accessible, lower cost way to support brain performance without going to your doctor's office. Halo may be a good fit if you struggle with focus or mental fatigue, or if you have trouble settling your mind at night, or some depression, if you want a drug-free performance boost, or if you're just curious about brain training. It's not a quick fix, it's training and consistency matters. 
After two months of testing and a deep dive into the science, I believe that Halo is one of the most credible and effective brain tech devices available today. It's simple, it's safe, and for me, it worked, especially for sleep. Now, if you want a calmer, clearer, more balanced brain and better sleep, then I think Halo is worth looking into. You'll find a link below this video if you'd like to try the Halo headset. And thank you, Halo, for sponsoring this video. And thanks for watching. I'm David Toman, Nootropics expert.